Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, this video, this is especially for intelligent gamer who is right now at Greenland of Internet Future. So I am sharing this video as a kind of tutorial on how to beat Greenland since I, yeah, he is struggling very much. So we are going to go with a lot of that uh, with units that he has. All right. He has a true form of this guy, he can use this. He has rocket cat, he does not have this, or this, or this. <coughs> so this is a recommended loadout that I am using for Enter the Future. If you have the true form of King Dragon, please use it, since it, uh, it has very long range. Let's just see in all cats. If you have Boogie Cat or Saba Cat, please use it since it can be very great, it can be crucial sometimes. What else can you use? You can use Paris Cat. I, uh, I, I'm using, for the sake of this video, I'm using Paris Cat, not a true form of it, just for him. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, you probably have Robot Cat, so you gotta level that up to level level uh, how many you can. So you definitely recommend this to. <coughs> As you can see, this does not contain any Uber since. It does not. I definitely recommend you getting uh, the true form of uh, Castaway Cat, like Surfer Cat, Castaway Cat, Seafair. You would 100% need this true form. <coughs> you really need it. And for Into the Future, uh, I, I'm doing multiple tutorials in this one. So right now, uh, you will, uh, you once after you, uh, after you get Seafair true form, actually. <coughs> it just starts grinding like me. Uh, like I went on a huge grind doing all of the true forms I uh, I use. So just use a true form. Just start grinding for true forms. Use <coughs> <coughs> use the uh, uh, crowd controllers lab. Like people who can freeze aliens. Just can is resistant to aliens but does not do anything to aliens. I probably don't have a Uber. That does it. I have Fire Squad Kachiyama for weakening. I have normal Akira who can freeze. I have Nathan Sake who can only target. I have Bora for massive damage and resistance. Gravity for wave attacks. And Blizzana for slowing and resistance. And uh, that, that's that's basically it. And then I have like. Oh yeah, this one is only the okay. <coughs> <coughs> so you can use like crowd control, like like weaken or freeze or do uh, any abilities against it. Well, let me go into like the filters. All right. <coughs> <coughs> um, you can use if you have sniper, you can definitely use that. Fire Squad Kachiyama, I have Akira, Naito Risaki, Bazo, Bora, Gravi, and Blizzana. For the sake of this video, we are not using any, <coughs> any of them. And, uh, if you want to get, uh, get make aliens easier, you can get these crystals. They're like, these two crystals. They're like treasures. You probably won't get... Wait, you can get these, so... Let me just see if you can actually get it. No, you can't get all of them yet. But you can at least activate the first crystal, which goes to Australia. It's Japan, Russia, get all of the superior, and, uh, and aliens will now be, uh, have their damage and health reduced by 15%. Alright? They will have their, uh, everything reduced by 15%. All of their stats. So let's already start Greenland. <coughs> uh, and uh, of course, Paris Cat will deal with the Black Dodges, so don't worry about that. 
this stage is uh, generally easy but uh, considering uh, your cat right now you probably uh, you can do it so this is uh, the correct way and blow out to do it <coughs> first you gotta level up your wallet I'm sorry if I have a high level one but uh, I do have a high level wallet but you need to level up your wallet as much as you can or you can use a rich cat if you're really struggling I know you did in your new video <coughs> just wait for the first dodge to come right to your base and before you attack send out Paris like this now they both are gonna stall together now this way you have both and now you can start building your loadout I'm telling you Paris and Castaway are going to be very important over here <coughs> You have to need a lot of meat shears for this. And the meat shears are, are basically cheap units that you can uh, use very fast. Look, I'm already, uh, I'm already like uh, uh, in direction towards the base. As you can see, Castaway is uh, actually doing very good here. He can survive attacks. You can place on Bahamut already. Can't deploy anymore already. Uh, because I have an entire row of meat shears. Ramen, uh, Rocker. Yeah, I can uh, Walker Cat, Rover Cat, MK2, Wall Cat, Ma Mohawk Cat and Gato Amigo which is basically Samba Cat or Movie Cat. Yeah, I am using them as meat shields and so as you can see them, you can see a lot of cats. And uh, we are basically bullied this guy and pushed him to the base. So, you, uh, you are basically gonna win this stage. Basically, you can literally use absolutely no, but just start grinding two forms. Uh, you should actually focus more on getting two forms than actually progressing. Since two forms are more important than progressing first. If you want to progress more, you first have to get uh, more two forms. As you can see, I've done, uh, I have uh, killed the first one, now the second there is right, but thanks. Thanks to King Dragon Cat uh, here with his long range and Paris Cat with her long range. We have attacked the base before hitting them. <coughs> <coughs> As you can see, we did it without Ubers. Now, now we have New York. This is a new enemy you have not seen. It does wave attacks. Uh, this guy's name, this little guy's name is Elizabeth the uh, LVI Teeth. It is an area attack, an alien pig with a wave attack. It becomes really annoying. But uh, I know a true form that can prevent this. This is the loadout that I used for Garrett. This stage is really difficult if you don't have any wave attack, wave blockers. This guy does not become a wave blocker, I think. Not a, but let me just see. Yeah, you, uh, you probably need a true form. This guy is not has a true form. Uh, I run only one epic cat food, one proper cat food, and three green cat food. I have the XP for doing it. Um, over here, Octopus Cat 2 for revolution increases attack speed and power, plus now negates wave attacks, negates wave attack effects and damage. So this guy is gonna block wave attacks. So this guy is just Kotatsu Cat for reference. This guy, when evolved, he becomes one of the best wave, wave, uh, wave blockers in the entire game. So you gotta. You gotta look out for that, but I right now have the past forms, so this guy isn't gonna do much. <coughs> okay, so this is probably the first stage that you have to use a wave blocker in your entire game. I, I basically don't, don't have any wave blockers, like, at all. Um, I only have a few. Immune to waves. Resist wave. or and wave blocker so I only have like these people who can do it brainwash your forehead attacks from long area does massive damage to only chainless does a mini wave sometimes immune to waves does area attack you can put like any of these guys in this guy freezes aliens this uh this one uh, the other form does that so I don't know if that's gonna be useful. Oh, Gravolo! Yes, this might be actually perfect for the if you if you have him.
So she's resistant. He does wear it at 100% chance and is immune to it. This guy is a tank. You don't know him. And Dark Rider Valkyra immune to waves, just does, uh, does normal damage. This guy is a wave blocker, wave shield. Like, <coughs> like Octopus Cat. This guy is a wave, wave shield. I used him like in Cory. But right now, this is probably the loadout you should go for right now. If you have any wave blockers, please try to get some. <coughs> <coughs> Or just don't. That's really the solution. Oh, just don't. If you don't have any. And just bear the attacks. Because this stage is actually really difficult. Without the wave blocker. And I'm doing it without the wave blocker. Because I know you don't have a wave blocker. So. I also have to go through the pain of your misery too. <coughs> I remember the first time they just said. I was like oh my god. What are these wave attacks? Obviously, this uh, enemy does not do much damage. Uh, it has a lot of health. Uh, it does wave attacks, but doesn't have a lot of damage. So, the wave attacks and health are the main part <coughs> of this that can make it deadly. Right now, at the start of the stage, there are a few peons. Just let them attack the base. <coughs> they only do 90 damage each. They do just 10 less damage. Those guys do 20 more damage and snatches. Just like wait for your money to be like pretty high and then just <coughs> just send all of them out. Uh, probably a uh, non Bahamut since he might die to the wave attacks since he is a back attacker but the wave attacks might get him. So yeah, I think it's already start time. <coughs> 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 So right now, uh, the main focus is now money, since as you can see, we don't have much. We also need multiple attackers. But right now, it is. I think it is enough, because I've never done this stage without wave blockers. You just saw that wave, didn't you? We freeze them with uh, with Keeper. We already knocked them back. And don't think that this, this guy this guy has a lot of knockbacks, so don't think it's just one or two knockbacks will be the trick. <coughs> <coughs> right now we are absolutely destroying this guy. Yeah, we already did him. That that stage was easy. This stage was easy. And remember Intelligent Gamer, this is a tutorial for you. So that you can get to get to the moon, <coughs> all right, and start grinding. I'm uh, reminding you over and over again. Start grinding for two forms. They are more important uh, to the game than ever. Next up is NASA. <coughs> you see this guy right over here. He appears like at the start of the stage. You see this guy right over here. You already had so much problems with this guy. Well, yeah, uh, your problems are only about to get worse. So what did I use? Basically all of them are <coughs> trash. <coughs> so at this time you probably would have started realizing that you need true forms instead. So now I'm going to be starting using true forms because you also need to learn to use true forms. And this guy has true forms. This. You need to start <coughs> actually getting the true forms of each. <coughs> so your loadout should look like this for NASA. You start grinding, I'm telling you, start grinding for two forms. They are more important to your game than ever. So NASA has the alien face. You don't probably don't even need Cro uh, Chronos the Infinite or any Uber to beat this. <coughs> also, please don't use Yukimura. Uh, uh, other than like XP stages or any stage with black black majority in it. This stage doesn't have, uh, have, a, have a head. This stage has a heavy focus on aliens, so please don't bring Yukimura. Maybe you can bring him for the black, uh, black uh, gorilla in this thing. So at the start, there are two alien doges. Build up your money. And then there's these two enemies. You already know you can beat these, so you send out cat lights. 
to stall them a little bit. If Cadillac dies, send out Rover. You can use Yukimura for these two. <coughs> well, no, I don't think yeah, of using any Uber since there will be kind of cheating and Petorials don't have Ubers, alright? Petorials don't have Ubers. <coughs> So now that you beat these guys, now as soon as you kill that last one, this guy appears and you have to be ready now for this guy. But all of your evolved cats will make this boss incredibly easy to beat and you probably might beat him your first try. He's a look, he's already gone back. I'm telling you, you have to grind for two forms since they are more important than your life. 100% they are more important in your life. <coughs> well, now he's on his last knockback. He's on his last knockback. As you can see, the dra Dragon Emperors are thriving because they have the longer range. They have longer range than the face itself. So they are just sitting at the back attacking the face. <coughs> with their dragon breath and see if they freeze this guy. This guy had four knockers, I didn't know that. Alright. So the start and then this stage is really easy. <coughs> Unless you don't have any two forms. You should get the two forms actually. Please get the two forms of these guys. <coughs> <coughs> And yeah, that's that's basically the stage. I'm doing this for as long as I can. So anywhere the recording stops, that means that means it stops itself because I don't have enough memory. So after that, size so Bermuda with more of these guys. <coughs> this guy, I I think you can probably beat him pretty easily. Look at my XP bar. <coughs> <laughs> you just go in with the same loadout because like 90% of it to the future is literally I can do with one loadout. Since, uh, ever since I got like cameraman cat I, I was cruising through the stages until I got to floating content and that, that was it. So these guys are really easy. This crocodile can go die since he already did 2000 damage. <coughs> Build up your money since this stage needs uh, has a lot of money problems. You can even use a rich card if you're really struggling. <coughs> if you have both of these guys die there, then just start start spamming them. All right. You can use Chronos the Infinite in this one instead of Bahamut right over here. Or you could use Bahamut and Chronos, but you 100% need all of these cats, so just replace Bahamut or just use Bahamut with Chronos. As you can see, my I have sent out a lot of cats already. So there, this is the boss right here. There are a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff over here. I'm doing this as a tutorial for you. Alright. You can hear a lot of survive. You hear a lot of pudding. Then those are the survive sounds. The crabs can do the, the those sounds. They're literally spamming the crabs out over and over again. I probably might lose. I don't know. This is. But we have. We are now damaging the alien there. There are a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the way. <coughs> Alright. So basically, uh, these, all of these other enemies are gonna give you your money. And you're like, keep sending out units until you run out of money, but then 
you get more money and then you want more money and then you get more money and then you start attacking this guy. I am, I am doing. So what I am doing is attacking this guy. So only like, okay, now we've got rid of any everyone. Now this guy is alone. This guy is alone now. Now we're attacking the base. And that's how you beat Bermuda. This game is actually pretty challenging. You could even use Chronos if you're struggling, or you could even use a rich candy stage. It's a lot more challenging than the previous this one. Previous one. But still, light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. Now, we're in Brazil. Where are these guys? The oh, so these guys are called demons. All right, these annoying pieces of trash. I hate these guys so much. <coughs> Look at this, guys. <coughs> <coughs> I hate this guy so much. In Brazil, there is also a metal hippo, so you might want to use someone that can kill him. For the metal hippo, I recommend the Jurassic Cat or Jurassic Cat Sitter. Um, if you don't have him, uh, so then you're yeah, basically gone. You can use any other critter. If you have anyone like Monaco, he, she can crit sometimes only, but... <coughs> <coughs> this state is extremely annoying, and you can basically brute force the Metal Hippo, but I extremely recommend getting a Calasaurus, so I'm replacing this guy since we're not using him. So now this is basically no burst. <coughs> I'm playing the Brazil. I'm gonna make a separate video on floating continent and moon. All right, just for your, I will. <coughs> literally, I'm only doing this for you because I know that you are struggling on into the future now. <coughs> <coughs> Luckily, these guys are pretty cheap and spammable, so. You don't have to worry about your money. Look! Critical attack! Wow, I was not expecting that. <coughs> <coughs> Build up your money now. Because the lemurs are gonna come fast. There's another critical attack. And there's the lemurs. Here come the lemurs. <coughs> now it's the battle here. This is why the game is called Battle Pass. There's a lot of battle. <coughs> the critical attack actually from the metal hero. I was expecting that. The lemurs right now are basically defenseless, so you can literally choose anything and they die. Literally anything. Now we're attacking the base. Let's go. <coughs> yeah, so... And that's how you beat these stages. I'm gonna make a separate video on floating continent and moon. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you Intelligent Gamer for watching this video. Th uh, I hope you understand the, the tutorial <coughs> for this. And please start grinding those true forms I, I am telling you over and over again. Please grind your true forms. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.